Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this slow mo flickering effect. It looks really cool. If a music like a sad song or something like that, this goes hard with it. I have already used it in a video that I did with Billy Draco. Big shout out to him in If I Die. That video really turned out great. So, this is how we do it. So, in here, I have this clip right here of ABK Jabble. So, to create the effect, first we're gonna create the slow mo. So, to create the slow mo, I'm gonna go over to right around middle of the clip like where it puts his head at the side around here and split the layer then you can also like extend the layer till you want the effect to happen so like here is the next clip this is the next clip of the music video but this doesn't matter right here we're gonna just stream it till here so so the slow-mo will not show this clip right here but anyways we're gonna pre-comp both of these like the pre-comp so it's on a like single new pre-comp now and then to create the slow-mo we're gonna use twixter twixter pro so twixter pro let's just add it into our clip and go with the speed and set it to 30 person that's what i like like 30 person like that maybe you can also like bring up the amount at the last if you want but it's up to you like that so it's like a triumph rap that looks pretty cool you can see the slow-mo looks really cool the twixter is really is the sauce when it comes to slow-mo it's way more better than those time interpolation so make sure to grab twixter is the sauce so after that i like to add some smoke in here smoke overlay like this fog for those i have this clip right here that i downloaded from youtube i guess or something like that i'll link it in the description this is our slow-mo of this fog which looks really cool so let's just drag it into our timeline real quick and it's really slow for me so i'm gonna go over the time and make it like 40 percent or something like that uh like that something like that maybe even 30 percent would look good yeah that's a normal shit that's cool so after that i'm gonna scale it up uh, so all of these floors are not there those floors scale it up like there like that and to remove the black we're gonna toggle fusion and morse and set the blending wall to linear dolls or you can also like play with the screen think screen or linear dolls let's just go with linear dolls it's a bit bright nah nah let's just go with screen yeah that's really cool also you can add like a curves if you want and lower down the shadows and bring up the mid tones a bit then to change the color if you want you can add like a tint and change around with the colors but i like to use vc color vibrance it's a free plugin from video copilot so you can check it out and set the color to something like blue um blue yes sir blue goes hard with it bro that looks super though maybe even like scaling up and put it uh putting it like something like that that looks super hard bro that's really hard already then after that to transition through you can use like a flash if you want flash also goes hard let's just try flash or you can also use like sick that i like to do to uh, bring up the exposure at the beginning and lower down the exposure again easy is those key frames not gonna lie flash also looks really hard yeah that's hard for sure also like mixing it up with some fast box blur also you can mix it up with uni what is called like box bro hey what the what it is how i can pronounce that bro okay 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 it was uni box bokeh so let's just add that and lower down the blur amount and right away the flash happens bring it up it's crazy so it creates like this type of blur which is on a triangle shape which looks really cool maybe like lowering down to 15 and also lowering down as it comes maybe lower down the exposure more this is the way to go or you can also add like a shake let me show you the shake as well so let's just create an adjustment layer and to create the shake you can add like a sapphire shake and mess with like the amplitude and the frequency but to automate that i have my pack it's called the shake pack so i'm gonna just load it load it up and use like a vertical shake from it it's really dope the vertical shake right there so after instantly adding that you can see the impact the shake added 
minutes maybe like that's too much amount for sure let's just slow it down yeah after that this looks really cool as well you can cho choose between the sake and the exposure if you want like it will be according to your song of course like if your song doesn't have those crazy 808 and stuff i recommend not adding the sake and if your song has those like crazy 808s going on you can add the sake it looks really dope anyways you can add some effects into this layer too so maybe like creating an adjustment layer and adding something like glow and messing around with it and also like on uh, add green looks cool with it so add green like that so you can really mess around this but i also like to add a preset from a preset pack from the ultimate grunge bundle i like to add from the default I guess black and white glow go goes really hard with this. So let's just add black and white glow. You don't really have to use my preset pack. Then you can create the effects from your own. It's totally fine too. But what preset packs allows you to do is automate those process. So it's easier for you when you're editing like a long video, like a full music video. And you want to get done work faster. It really is the clutch. And comes with the unique effects as well. So you don't have have to like play around with different effects to, to get something that you like you can just drag and drop you already know the drill the link will be in the description if you want to download these packs that i'm using it's really dope and after adding the preset you can see the really cool flicker and those glows it adds it turns into black and white as it goes looks really cool this is hands down one of my favorite preset pack i made so you can check it out if you want maybe also like putting the smoke before the black and white would look really hard as well nah 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 it doesn't get the feel i'm wrong bro i'm wrong but anyways my final effect looks something like this so yeah that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe to my channel so you are locked in with all the tutorials i'm uploading daily on july so it's a really great time to like stay locked in with all the tutorials you know so yeah see you in next video peace